spiritual healer and reading for today. As I was shuffling the cards for our overall energy for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, I'll get to those in a second. Um, the music in the background, I don't own the rights to, so I have it low, but it's one that came on while I was shuffling was Stay With Me by Sam Smith. Stay with me. You're all I need. I think it's a message from the divine masculines to the feminines, or the, from the runners to the chasers. Um, while they're going through this until they bring in, whether they're at the page level or a king, um, they won't, are asking that you, you know, stand by and don't give up on this journey. So, we have the chasers, the different feminines, the masculines, the runners. Okay, so we have the lizard card. And it's, the lizard is an expert in the realm of sensory pre perception. As if it has a sixth sense, the lizard hears what is yet to be spoken and sees what is yet to manifest. Although this is amazing gift, it can easily wear the lizard down. Big crowds, lots of travel, overstimulation will drain the lizard energy of its magical essence. So rest. This card is an indication to pull back from the bright lights and big cities. Return to nature. Return to the inner artist within you who's been whispering your name. If you are out of balance, then uh, you are non-committal committal and flaky. To bring it into balance, again, um, get a creative project going. And if you're in balance, then you're artistic, spiritual, and using your telepathy. All right. So it starts um, reminding us, just like yesterday's message, about creativity um, with your artistic. We have Eric Card, Peacock. One of the most beautiful cards. Inner beauty, compassion. The beauty of the peacock is unrivaled. It's easy to think it comes from the plumage, but the secret of the peacock is that the beauty resides within and extends outward indefinitely. This adept creature can assimilate or digest all experiences in life, so it does not harbor resentment, doesn't harbor conflict or past pain within its psyche, the peacock type is extremely rare. Not many of us have reached this level of acceptance of self and others. So this is the uh, divine feminines, divine masculines. Um, so even though they're working on self and they've been triggered just as we have, they're not harboring resentment against you for triggering them. And they are uh, going within to, to heal that pain. If they were out of balance, then they wouldn't be able to digest these situations and to bring it into balance, uh, Spirit recommends meditation. When in balance, of course, they're confident, kind, and forgiving. Okay, so I hope all of you had a great yesterday and you're energized today. Personally, I am wiped out. I could probably stay in bed all day. But things to do, readings to get out, and then go to work. Again, if these are um, Queensland readings don't resonate with your wave of um, that you're on, then there's a lot of readers out there that you may um, affiliate better with or resonate better with. There's an intuitive reading. I'm just reading what the Spirit puts out or lets me know. And now and then I'll pull out the book so that you get what the book meaning is for some of you if I'm directed to do so. Spirit, overall, three cards for the Divine Feminines, three, three cards for the Divine Feminine in this collective way.
Don't overall read the reversals unless directed to from spirit. So I'm flipping these over. Going on the side. Cards for the divine masculine, please. Read. Three cards for the divine masculine in this collective way. Three cards for the divine masculine in this collective way. Three more precise messages, please. Three more precise messages. First up, the Divine Feminine, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So it shows you're doing the work and holding on to the science behind the Twin Flame journey. Your shirt is uh, coated in green, your chest is coated in green, so your heart chakras are open and activated. You're holding on to the journey. in the journey. It's kind of a serious look on the face in this card I just brought to. Um, so we're trusting in the process. We're work and um, moving as a knight. Of course they're moving in slowly but you're making the movements you need to on your journey at this time. The Knight of Cups. So right off the bat, I'm drawn to the brightness of the sky, the over the um, head of the knight. Um, so your chakras are vibrant and um, in tune to the divine source, holding up your cup of emotions, riding in. And again, with the symbolisms here of the journey, uh, or the uh, connection, twin flame connection. And since the mask is down on this card, things, um, it, again, some of these messages res will resonate and some won't, but perhaps some need to still be in their crew. Um, you're coming in, but the face is not showing, therefore um, we need to remove the mask of who we are. Um, and you know, standing your truth, be who you are meant to be. No 
this is the 11-11 card. So, um, well, it's the Four of Wands, right? But that's known in the Twin Flame journey as the 11-11 card. Um, they're, you know, in union in the 5D and working towards the union in 3D. Some of you have come into you perhaps recently in the last few days, but um, you're committed to this journey. <laughs> So for the Divine Masculines or the Brothers, it's the Four of Cups. And whether they reached out the other day to you or not, sometimes we still trigger, you know, that you coming together with communication the other day, um, it may have triggered some of them because it's such a high, you know, high vibrational when the two polarities come together. So it, it may have caused them to go back into meditation mode um, and consider their um, what they have ahead of in front of them, what they are putting behind them. Their uh, third eye is open and they are going within. His palms are not clenched, it's open. So this is a very relaxed state. He's not mad. This isn't where he's just um, going. You know, it's not like the hermit card. The spirit guides are all around him in these lights. And he has these uh, twin flame symbols, which I have not noticed before, on his chest. And this is right there. So um, that's in his heart space. So he is working towards this as much as he can at this time. We have a new moon coming up shortly. So this is the moon card. So perhaps since that, uh, some of you are receiving the messages coming in by the new moon for you yet, and it's also an, going to be an emotional time frame, which these look like tears. I know it's raindrops from the sun, but to me, I'm seeing it right now as tears. So I think it's a new, by the new moon, we're going to be in an emotional state with these uh, twin towers. <laughs> um, hopefully it's not. I'm not seeing it as a tower moment. It's just pointing out the twin towers for some reason. The science is in the middle of the ground. And they are howling at the moon. So on this new moon, maybe go out and howl at the moon if there are things that you need to discuss. You know, the differences between two polarities that, uh, with your connection, there will be communication between the two of you, you and the divine partner. And you're going to be um, perhaps discussing the path. Because here is highlighted this path. So, um, since you're supposed to be getting on your spiritual path and in mission, then by the new moon, perhaps that's the communication that's between you is the, your spiritual path. And this is him moving forward. His mask is now up. And he's on a mission. His sword is up. He's in his truth and determination. You can look, the look on that bowl is like he knows where he's going and he's determined to get there. He's determined to meet up with the Divine Feminine. This is the Knight of Swords moving fast. And here she sits just waiting. <laughs> she's doing her work. She's coated in green. The, uh, she is trusting the Twin Flame science and um, speaking with her spirit guides because she knows that they will help her in this maze or this uh, labyrinth maze. Of journey. It's not a pinnacle. So we have three knights on here. And then we have the two of cups sharing the uh, nourishment between you and your twin flame. So you're nourishing them, they are nourishing you, um, coming together in union joyfully in believing in this science of it. 
and you're coming together in still waters because this is not a rippling brook, it's just a very slow moving. The judgment card. Uh, with your twin flames, one of you um, is just waiting for the, the judgment period to be over and rising up, receiving the nourishment from source. Um, that you can then nourish your twin flame. But you are looking up with hands open. You surrender to source and you're um, prepared to take the nourishment and the gifts that the source is providing you. Same card we had the other day. Um, overall energy between the two, because uh, we have like the overall energy. The um, Ace of Swords, so truth. Again, um, you're both uh, getting past the sword energy um, determination on a mission, coming up out of the fiery flames and um, into past your tr the truth and onto the future together. And as you move forward, the days of the uh, Ten of Swords are over. That um, being stabbed in the back, or that feeling of being stabbed in the back, is at an end. And he's holding to the his sword of truth. And usually we see this as uh, the karmics. Uh, depending on how it's being, you know, however spirit wants it to come out. Today he's saying these are the um, spirit guides that are with them, just waiting for them to rise. But they know he's in his truth and just needs to get up and move forward. And they're learning together. Now they've come together in union and they are prepared to learn from Source and their guides. And it's the third eye. Um, so the light is that come on, they see what they need to for their path together so that they can be in their mission together and with that will bring abundance three of pentacles here they have the abundance of fruit everything they could want in the way of fruits and financial abundance with their pentacles and it's going to come working together on a mission around you, what they want to say regarding the journey for the same things in this collective. What messages, what messages for the collective in this way, please? What messages for the collective in this way?
Do you have freedom horse? Spirit says, let your spirit soar like the wild mustangs. Break free and express yourself. Flaunt your stuff, dance, laugh, explore. You don't need to fit into any mold. Just be daring and wave your arms to the heavens as you run through the fields. Spirit says this card is supposed to remind us that we are not to be ordinary. We weren't meant to fit in with the pack. That we're strong to stand on our own and in our belief of what this journey is about, a mission, and your sole purpose. is answering the call again that we had yesterday. Again, so being drawn to the rainbow and the brightness of the sky, source energy. You've been called to let your light shift. The waiting is over. Your true and authentic life is happening before you. Wishes fulfillment, spirit says. And love and healing and spirits are sending you messages. So be open to the communication from the spiritual realms. Look for the signs, they're all around you. The feather that alights your, at your feet. The penny mysteriously appears. The rainbow that splashes across the sky are all messages from Source and your spirit guides. love, love yourself, others, and every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. So we're not supposed to be looking with our human eyes, right? We're looking with our third eye and reading their energy, looking into their spirit with a non-judgmental, un unjudgmental view with unconditional love. Circles of rhythm again are here. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotion. Be free and dance. Um, that phrase, I'm being reminded of dance like no one is watching or dance in the rain. Be a free spirit. Sure. 
raising the vibration um, in yourself to heal the earth. Um, you should, one thing I noticed right off the bat, your body temperature changes and surges the more uh, in tune you are with spirits around you. And when you're getting downloads, if you, you'll get pressure in your head, kind of like the ears are plugged. I don't know who that was for, who was asking that, but Spirit wanted me to explain. If you have other questions, you can email me at Sacred Spiritual Healer. And um, if you're new to the journey, this um, probably isn't the wave you're on. However, since we have um, many that are just coming into the journey, um, you can still learn a lot from this wave of what will be to come. But feel free to email me, especially regarding the inner child healing. Spirit guides, what would you like to say to the collective? From our spirit guides, the spirit guides of the collective, what would you like to say to the spirit guides? True and precise messages from our spirit guides, please. Listen to your intuition, your dreams, as I always say, journal your dreams, get a notebook and a pen, keep it near your bed or under your pillow beside you, if you're um, on this journey, most likely are <laughs> alone or single, uh, currently, so just tuck that notebook right under the other pillow and pull it out as soon as you wake up so you can journal what you've dreamt about or the message of spirit gives you in your dream. Well, that's what I like to say, spirit. Two precise messages to you. Cleansing spirit path. We have a 9, 10, 11, 6, 7, 8, 9. Releasing the burdens, detoxifications, and energy flow. So detoxification. Um, releasing the burdens, um, things that bother you no longer serve you, surrender them to the universe. Uh, send them out to the ethers. You can do it on paper. Um, if you write the things that you want to release on a piece of paper and then burn it somewhere, you take it out on your gas grill and set it ablaze um, and ask Spirit to help you release those things that no longer serve you. You can even list, you know list them down in order. Detoxification can speak of both your uh, spiritually, so again releasing right, and then for detoxification um, physically and um, your body, we can do a you know like a internal cleanse. Or if every day you take a cap full of apple cider vinegar and put it in a glass of water and drink that, that helps detoxify you. Drink bottled water and take in less toxins. Many of us on the journey try to cut out on eating the meats that are in the store now. Try to eat like more uh, organically, but the meats that are in the store um, grocery stores are usually, um, the animals suffer a great deal in mass quantities. It's not like the old farmers where they were left out to graze and then they were killed a little more humanely. So the vibration is different than uh, the fear and trauma that they go through now before being butchered. That energy is um, still left in the meat. So if you're taking in that negative energy or fear, it will may need more detoxification. I'm just getting to that part. Let's see. Energy look flow. Hang on. By detoxifying and releasing, it helps the energy to flow from source energy down through uh, that you can better uh, focus your manifestations. And so 
Spirit says it's important to be detoxified and take into your body pure things, pure water, pure, you know, purified food, more pure foods. Uh -uh. Don't think I caught that. Nine and two is eleven. Freeze up moon. The white buffalo. Um, identity, self-discovery, and vulnerability. So don't be afraid to be vulnerable, um, especially with your twin. Self-discovery is um, through self-discovery and self-love and identity. Your true identity is who you truly are as you learn on this journey to love yourself and accept yourself and your flaws because this avatar, this body is um, its an illusion. Your, your true person, your true identity is your soul, your personality, your character. Um, so through that is your self-discovery and be vulnerable to find that. Six into is eight and with this is the white buffalo. It's known as freeze up moon but in the Native American with the uh, belief of the white buffalo calf spirit is um, that spirit will always provide you. They will always uh, just what you need. They may not give you abundance, but this white buffalo calf spirit will ensure that you always have what you need. You just have to act. Messages, please, for one for divine feminine, please. One for divine feminine. One for true, precise message from spirit for divine feminine. And a message for the divine masculine, please. One message for the divine masculine. sacred power is for the divine feminines and right off the bat I noticed this um, third eye is well lit up um, and flowing down you are being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation so goddess of sacred power you are being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation which is basically you're the leader right you're the ch uh, chaser until you come in to a state where spirit uh, tells you to disconnect um, then the role switch but right now um, it's some of some of the collective, not all of us, are in the role still of chasing or in the leading role, which is the chaser. All right. Also, I noticed the, um, there's like a veil over her face and over the throat. So perhaps you need to do a throat chakra uh, clearing and balancing. Um, this flower reminds me kind of of the lotus which is in the heart chakra and it's yellow uh, not green or pink so perhaps also some uh, er, heart chakra clearing as well 
Jupiter 1111 I need to, um, has um, some fantastic uh, chakra clearing. They call her the chakra clearing queen. So check hers out. She has some that are free on her YouTube channel. And then some, if you want to book her, you can look at her information. This is the Divine Masculines card, and it's Angel of Space Clearing. It is time to clear old negative thoughts and feelings, which is true, right? Because we're the leader. It's the Divine Feminines, and the um, runner or the Masculines are the... Uh, we heal ourselves first, and then it heals them, and they have to, it also triggers them, so they do their own internal healing as well as our healing them. So they need to clear that after being, right? They still need to go in and release some of that old uh, things that no longer serve them as well. So it's just saying it is time to clear old negative thoughts and feelings. And their third eye is open as well. So you most likely have um, a lot of telepathy with your twin right now. Are feeling the emotion. This reminds me of um, a tear. And some of the negative thoughts are because they are aware of how they have hurt the Divine Feminine and so they have regret. They're not probably not going to voice those but know that they are regretful on hurting you and they um, are working on clearing and changing that. This one. That's almost done. So, um, let's finish, clear these and shuffle, but Spirit wants me to use the bottom card first. So this card is the Journeyman. And, oops, sorry for the glare. How's that better? The Journeyman, and it's uh, his higher self. He's, uh, his higher self is connected to him, this little guy. So um, gender not specific. Just this person has their higher self connected with their crown chakra um, and in touch with the hot source energy so good job dark lady um, is kind of like the devil energy in a tarot card um, where she is wrapped in her um, royal it's, it's only it's not equivalent to the devil card just similar in the way of even though she is draped in her loyalty like a high priestess that she is in tune with her uh, third eye wide open her wings are spread out and rise but there is her higher self um, has a slight uh, dark energy of uh, be it like seductive energy or but that's because there's the high priestess energy she knows she is the highest um, with, she's in tune with her higher self completely. She knows all, and she's not speaking it. And then the next card on the deck is Caden. It's a little chubby baby. She's adorable. <laughs> so this is your inner self. So if you're at this level, high priestess mode, right, you're doing the work, you're healing yourself, and healing your inner child. And for those that um, are not then are encouraged to do the inner child healing imagine yourself um, as a child playing in the uh, field of flowers or um, remember good you know write down good thoughts or good memories from childhood that sort of thing to help um, heal your inner child wound. I split the deck uh, to shuffle and here all the chakras are pretty much lit up 
uh, the crown chakra and to source energy, third eye, throat chakra is lit, the heart chakra is lit, solar plexus, the sacral chakra, um, and the energy, they know their power because they have uh, the lights on their fingertips and we know where um, the science of the energy, right, your quantum physics. So we know that we have the power at our fingertips. Okay. Sorry, let me fight that phone. Here's your silence, folks. So unity is the other one, which is awesome. So it's the two energies, right? The two, like, uh, quantum physics. It was an atom that split in half, uh, creating two entities, thus from one soul. So it's, we're two souls from one, originating from one. So the unity is bringing those two atoms back together. That's why we have the polarity and the twin flame connection. And so unity is here um, for some. And it's going to, looks like fireworks to me, kind of, um, just the energy is an explosion <laughs> when uh, unity happens. Okay, now. Okay, we have messages uh, from Source. Spirit Channel. And we had to write them on. So these are messages directly from Spirit Channel. Your spirit guides are near. You can see that. So the spirit wants you to know your spirit guides are near you as well. Um, talk to them, converse. Um, if you haven't gotten in a, um, let me see, kind of like a relationship of speaking to your spirit guides, just as if they were visible. Um, they're always near you. You just can't see them. Um, balance your base chakra. So earlier I think we said we thought we needed to balance the throat and heart chakra. And this one's saying the base chakra needs balancing. Nope. Third eye chakra needs balancing. And journal your dreams. Um, again, it goes back to what I mentioned earlier about keeping it notebook um, by your bed. Out of balance, uh, something needs to be balanced. Uh, meditate. And out of balance is uh, the cards that mentioned third eye chakra, right? The throat chakra, the heart chakra, and the base chakra. So those are the ones this collective probably should look at working on. All right. If you um, want to, um, if you need advice on how to do your meditation to balance those, you can send me an email as well. And the spirit says no is a complete sentence. You don't need to explain yourself. Optical illusion. Take another look at whatever it is you're um, 
thinking if it's the right or wrong thing you're supposed to be doing. It's an optical illusion. Take another look. Union is above, so below. So remember, you're already in union in 5D, right? Or in other dimensions. So if you're not in union here in 3D, then uh, continue to send healing, continue to do your inner child work. Send your twin the love and light during meditation to bring them in to bring them healing energy uh, and feminine energy um, again uh, balance your energy but your feminine energy use your feminine energy with the more power to send the healing to your twin and open your heart work on heart chakra Alright, and last group of messages. I'm going to break this in half so it's easier to shuffle. Oh, right. no, just shuffle them the way they are. with Justin Timberlake. Mm -hmm. um, can't hear the lyrics. I turned it down. The um, but it's says Mirrors by Justin Timberlake. Um, actually, that reminded me of the song that I kept getting earlier, too, was The Man in the Mirror. Uh, listen to that. I think it's by Jack, by Michael Jackson. Uh, Man in the Mirror um, for the Divine Masculines or Feminine, for that matter. And on that note, speaking of music that I keep hearing, um, the song keeps playing over and over again. This may or may not resonate with you. Um, the ones that didn't make it home, like I hear that song two, three times a day. Every time I turn on the radio, it's there, it's on. Um, and then sometimes even in the middle of my sleep, I'll uh, wake up to that song in my head. Um, so, I mean, clearly it's a message that needs to go out. Just not sure. Spirit hasn't said to who if it's for the masculines or feminines. So. If that resonates with you, it could be anything from, uh, you know, just knowing that someone who didn't make it back from uh, war is with you in spirit, or it could mean, you know, home since it's twin flames, uh, we are home to each other, right? It's like a, when you're near them, it's a feeling of home. So the song, to me, reminded me more of that. I kept, you know, like associating it with that kind of home, not the military person. But and if you're wondering if that was regarding your situation, yes is the answer, since that's what we were talking about when I shuffled. Dance and sing to raise your vibration. I got this yesterday as well. Obviously, it's important. So, be dancing, play drums, or play music, get a tambourine, um, and dance like no one's looking. Love yourself. Do your inner self love. Positive transformation is occurring. Which, so, if, like myself today, I can feel it because my ears are plugged. Um, 
like a pressure and I'm absolutely exhausted, but yet I haven't even gone to work yet. Send energetic love to your twin flame in 5D. A song may trigger you. Yeah, the song that triggers me is that uh, the one that didn't make it home. Because it's like you're trying to figure it out, right? Um, and sometimes we get messages like that that might trigger us and spirit won't come forth and say exactly what it is because we get messages and pieces as they are relevant to prepare us for the unveiling right here of the old message. So that's why sometimes we get bits and pieces of messages is because that's all we can unpack at that time. Go within, inside, and heal if it triggers you. Sometimes you have to move things out to get. Sometimes you have to move things out to get what you want. I think it's I think it's um, referring move things out of the way like moving things that no longer serve you or if you drop something under a couch right you got to move the couch to get to it um, so sometimes like that we have to move things around in our life if we want to get what we want tamper your emotions which is funny though because I don't think be, when I wrote it it's supposed to say tamper but I don't think it's by mistake that it came out temper so if you have a temper you need to tamper that emotion uh, go inside within your inner child healing you learn to go within when you are triggered and not react so it's just reminding us not to react at a trigger um, if someone at work per se uh, does something or says something that triggers you then don't react Sometimes that's bad. <laughs> uh, just go within and do uh, see why it triggered you. Where either in your childhood or your other work situations, or why is it that that triggered you? And do the healing so that you can uh, move forward in your journey and nurture yourself. To love yourself and nurture yourself, you have to do this and learn to do this well before you can nurture or love others. Let go of desired outcome. Stop thinking when is he texting, when or this, when or that. Um, desire, lose the desired outcome. Right? Surrender it to the source. Whoever that is for you. It might be Buddha, it might be God, it might be source energy. Um, I usually just say source so that it doesn't offend anyone's religious beliefs. Although you should be letting go of your the religious beliefs you were raised with. So maybe that's one of the things you need to release. Alright, this crystal, very <laughs> prisoborial. Yeah, I'm sure I butchered that one. Uh, enables self worth, brings self love, forgiveness, confidence, and compassion. Kill your codependencies. Codependencies could be swamping, drinking, having to be with someone all the time. If you're going from relationship to relationship, you might have codependency issues. Um, you should be healthy and happy to be on your own because you don't need another person to complete you. You can complete yourself. And then when you come in union with your twin, it's because you are one but and it's something you want. But it's not something you need because you, you can be complete with on yourself. Manifest your heart's wishes. Oh, manifest. Your heart's wishes will be granted as you wish, as your wish echoes in your soul. In other words, uh, when you're trying to manifest, if you want this stuff to come to you or wish to be granted, you have to do it from a place of emotion such as passion. So it echoes from your soul. You will be transformed by self-love and self-faith. That's all I have for you today. Hope you have a blessed day. Again, email me, sacredspiritualhealer at gmail.com. And I'll 
Thank you. Namaste.